I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. I have faith and I believe in God. I know like I know God is a good God and He is delivering you. Whatever situation you might find yourself in, trust and believe. Know that help is on the way. God is on the way. God is on the way with your breakthrough. God is on the way with your deliverance. God is on the way with your miracle. He does miracles signs and wonders. What he did in the beginning, he is still doing now. What he did in the times of the Bible, he is still doing now. And I've got good news for you, my friend, as you have put your trust and your faith in Jesus, you shall see those signs, wonders and miracles in your lifetime. And your life shall go from glory to greater glory. I've got a good message for you today, and it's a continuation of our Bible study. And the title of my message is, the enemy will fail to take you out. Now we're going to continue reading. We're going to read in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 2 from verse 16 all the way to verse 23. It says, Then Herod, when he realized that he had been tricked by the Magi, was extremely angry, and he sent soldiers and put to death all the male children in Bethlehem and in all that area who were two years old and under, according to the date which he had learned from the Magi. Verse 17, Then what had been spoken through Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be comforted because they were no more. But it goes on to say in verse 19, When Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up. Take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel. For those who sought the child's life are dead. Verse 21, Then Joseph got up and took the child and his mother and came to the land of Israel. Verse 22, But when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father Herod the Great, he was afraid to go there. Then being warned by God in a dream, he left to go for the region of Galilee. Verse 23, And went and settled in a city called Nazareth. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet, saying, He shall be called a Nazarene. Now, my dear friend, there is something that stands out to me over here. When you follow the leading of God, when you follow God's leading in all that you do, when God warns you and you take heed to His warning, the devil may try to take you out. The devil may try to use his hardest and most toughest attack against you, but he will fail to take you out. I want to tell you, my dear friend, when you put your trust in God and you follow His leading, you will always come out shining on the other side. You will always come out victorious on the other side. Because the grace of God is sufficient. The grace that is available in Christ is sufficient. It is sufficient for whatever challenge, whatever trial we may go through. And through that grace, God warns us. If we take heed to the warning of God and we follow and obey in line with what the Bible says, the Bible says the prudent see danger and take refuge, the simple keep going and suffer for it. If we are prudent and we listen to the voice of God and see danger and take refuge, we can dodge all the attacks of the enemy. And I want to tell you, my dear friend, God will speak to you and God will show you the way so that you will be protected from all the attacks of the devil. Wherever the devil is trying to attack you and stop that destiny, he will fail. Wherever the devil or any of his evil cohorts or evil agents are trying to stop you or limit you, all the attempts to stop you or limit you will be in vain because the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God and the creator of heaven and earth shall protect you. Our God is a good God. Our God is a merciful God. Our God is all powerful. And the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? God sees the past, the present and the future all at the same time. And God is able to warn you and say, look, there is a trap in front of you. Don't go there. Turn and go the other way. And when God warns you, listen to God. As you take heed to the instruction of the Holy Spirit in real time, no attack that the devil can launch against you will work. 
No attack that the devil launches against you will succeed. No weapon formed against us will prosper, and every tongue that rises up against us in judgment we shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. My dear friend, I want to encourage you, believe in God and trust Him and follow the leading of His voice. Follow the leading of His Spirit and you will be protected. I want to speak to you prophetically and I want to tell you that all the traps that the devil has presently set up for you, they will fail to take you out. All the plans and the traps that the devil has set up to stop what God has started in your life shall fail. They shall fail to stop what God has started. Because our God, the God of heaven and earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob shall fight for you. He shall deliver you. He shall come through for you mightily and he shall make a way where there seems to be no way. Believe in God and trust Him and you will prosper. Believe in God and trust Him and you will see His deliverance. Believe in God and trust Him through Jesus Christ our Lord. You will receive your salvation. We are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. If you have not yet given your life to Jesus, my dear friend, make a decision to give your life to Jesus. It starts over there. Once you give your life to Jesus, Jesus will lead you and He'll guide you. Develop that relationship with Jesus. Get closer to Jesus while there is still time and your life will never be the same again. So in saying that, take your cell phone your device wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. As your praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and He'll change your life forever. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Father, You are our God and we just praise You. We glorify Your holy name. We magnify Your holy name. We lift up Your holy name. You alone are holy. You alone are worthy. You alone deserve the glory. And even today, be glorified. Be glorified in my life and in my dear friend's life. As you do what only you can do in my dear friend's life, receive all the praise. May Jesus be lifted up. Thank you, Father, for another day that you've given us. Thank you for your grace that is released to us in abundance. Thank you for your grace that never runs out on us. And by that grace and by that power, we'll keep on going and we will not stop. We will not give in. We will not give up. And this is all to the glory of King Jesus. We give you praise and thank you, Father, that even right now something is happening, something is changing. And wherever there's any plans or traps of the devil, they are being exposed and they are being broken and they are being stopped in their tracks in the name of Jesus. And we shall continue in the path that you have called us, both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video. My dear friend, your dear son, my dear friend, your dear daughter, as they have chosen to trust in you, no evil that is formed against us will work. Even any evil people or evil agents, imposters who are trying to fake our names, trying to steal our identities, they shall fail to do so in the name of Jesus, because you shall expose them by fire and by power in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. My dear friend, I believe and I trust God's presence is here. And I know like I know as we pray, God is going to bless you. So in saying that, we're going to begin to pray. And even as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray. Help me to press in. And help me to receive from the Father today. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got a prayer request and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is, and in whatever situation my dear friend finds themselves, your dear son, your dear daughter, whatever situation they find themselves, Father, I pray that you will intervene divinely. Intervene wherever the enemy, the devil, and all his cohorts have planned and plotted against my dear friend. Let all those plans and plots be in vain. Let them fail to take out my dear friend. Let them fail to stop the destiny and the purpose of my dear friend. Father, protect my dear friend's destiny and purpose 
and guide and lead my dear friend. Release the grace of a my dear friend who's watching this video that my dear friend will be sensitive to your voice and obedient. Your word says those who are willing and obedient will eat from the best of the land. As my dear friend is willing and obedient, let my dear friend eat from the best of the land. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I release a special blessing over you. May you be protected. May any weapon that is formed against you be destroyed right now in Jesus' name. May any plan or plot of the enemy against your life never prosper against you in Jesus' name. And every word of gossip, of accusation, of slander, may it be broken right now and may it never have any effect on you or on your reputation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Until tomorrow, for myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.